If I had hair, that would have looked a lot more dramatic. Whew. Ain't gonna happen. On today's fireside chat with the renegade retailer, we'll be talking about a question that was asked to me back ooh, 15 years ago, and I decided to answer with something very pertinent, which I believe pertains to us all if we believe in it. So the question was asked, where do you see yourself in five years, 10 years, 15 years? That friggin' generic question. I'm 48 years old at the time of this video, and I've had quite a few friends, peers, pass away in the last five years. I would put about a dozen or so, about my age. So that question is now answered by saying, I don't want to be a statistic. What do I mean by that? I just don't want to be known as a guy who loved his work so much, who did not spend time with his family, was working 80 hours a week, did nothing for his community, and so on and so forth. I want to be known as that guy who set the example for others, who loved life, shared, cared, dared others to be their best. I put it very simply, when you're in a hospital bed, a lot of us say, I should have, I could have, I would have, when you're in that hospital, because you're afraid, which is natural. I'm at the point in my life, I want to say, or I am saying, I did, and I'm okay. I'm okay with my life. I'm very happy with my life. Ah, blindness you've heard about, bipolar, depression, torn my meniscus, uh, very bad anxiety attack, where do you want to go, vertigo for three months? You can go on and on. That makes me who I am today. That's part of my fabric and part of my story. To which I'm actually telling on my skin to some people's liking, to other people's questioning. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be a statistic. So how do you not become a statistic? Statistic. You stop worrying about shit that you can't control. You stop listening to others and wanting to be someone else. You are yourself. Listen, love, and learn. Not an exciting uh, vlog, I know, but ask yourself that question. Where do you want to be in five years? If you say you want to be president of a company, or you want to say you want to be a cashier, or you want to be a bus driver, which, you know what, actually, I would become a bus driver. I would love to become a bus driver. You need to ask yourself that question. Is the actual stress in front of me, in retail or in life or from family, actual stress or is it perceived stress? And I can guarantee you a lot of it is perceived. Think about it, stretch it out, roll it back up into a ball and see what actually comes out at the end. You can control your stress and don't be a statistic. This message has been brought to you by the Renegade Retailer who enjoys Kellogg's Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes, which in no way is good for his diabetes. On that note, have a phenomenal day!